Hey everybody, welcome back to Detroit. I'm lost, Carl. I just wanted us to live in peace, but everything I touch just turns to dust. I'm lost. The world's falling apart around me and I'm trying to do the right thing. And I can't find any answers. I don't want to shed blood, whatever the color. But I can't let them slaughter us. I have to make a decision that is going to affect millions of lives. But I don't know what to do. What should I do, Carl? Tell me, what should I do? Think he recognizes us? I mean, we don't look like an android, but we might have that look, you know, like that famous Marcus look. It's like we're hiding out in a really old church, maybe? Yeah. I'm just like, I took a breather. I took a small break, had some lunch, needed just to take out just a little break after that last one, because wowzers. But I think we're going to stick to the plan. The only way you can truly have your freedom is if those who are oppressing you agree to it later. We have to make them agree. We have to make them see. Because after all, humans are our creators. They shut down the factories, shut down the workshops, everything. Refuse to make any more androids. Destroy their own equipment. And uh, our numbers won't last long. So let's, uh, let's just talk to our people. There's a few options here. Connor's back there, looks like. Josh over there. Uh, possibly north there. It's like Kara and Alice are there. And that's Simon. All right. I want to talk to Connor last, but at the same time, I also want to talk to North last. So let's get let's get the conversation with Connor actually out of the way, because this this is like, hey, why are you joining us? Sorts of things, and I really want to see what he has to say. It's my fault. The humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. He came back. You know? We, we went to save North. We tried to pull it back, and he puts himself in front. Put himself in harm's way against humans. Killed a few of them. To, so that we could make it off that boat. That one single act, I think. Just that, like, in Marcus's head, I'm thinking that one single act there at the very end to get us out of there is enough for me to press one. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife Tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. Uh-huh. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance. For unlikely events to take place.
Be careful. Oh shit. Talk to Connor. Apologize to Kara. That's the other objective. But can I? I'm gonna talk to other other people first. So we'll take care of. We'll talk to Kara uh, at the end. I think here. Because that seems to be the objective. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see her people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. That's right, man. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. Good. It's not exactly a talk, but good. It's like a sit down and hear what he has to say and walk away kind of thing, which is a bit weird, but all right. <laughs> Didn't exactly get the chance to talk to Josh. Apologize to Kara. Still want to do that, but I feel like if I... This is one of those things where I don't know what triggers it. So I'm kind of hoping that apologizing to Kara is the trigger for the thing to continue. And that means I can talk to other people first. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. So we'll see what happens. Hey, Simon. Is it the same thing with you? I'm going to sit down and you're going to talk to me and then I'm going to walk away. You got to have something to say to him. Really glad I didn't shoot him on that rooftop. Are people accounting on you, Marcus? Also kind of glad we didn't go up to the roof with Connor. You're the only one who can lead us. Wherever you need to go, we'll follow you. Good. Head nod. There it is. <laughs> Called it. That's all I get. I don't, I'm not even going to say a word to you, man. Just a head nod. All right. Uh, I'm going to do north, and then we're going to apologize to Kara. Wait, why are we apologizing to her for? Is it because of Luther? Did Luther not make it? Oh, no. Right, because we blew the whole thing up. Is that... Is there an option to not blow it up? <gasps> oh no. Well, I guess if, oh, hang on. Uh, situation. They say they don't want to take any risks with deviants. So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps for extermination. In a few hours, we're gonna be the only ones left. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. What's your system status? I'm okay. The bullet didn't hit any bike components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. Nothing else matters. You are my people. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. Stop saying that. I'm not good at choices. Whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. I wonder what goes on with that. What kind of stuff is transferred? You know? She just said she loved you. Not even gonna say I love you back. Come on. Why not? All right, let's talk to Kara. It doesn't look like Luther made it though. That sucks. I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. 
We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Why are you still sitting Marcus. there? Save our people. She's in a hurry to get the bus while she's still sitting there. Inform your people of your choice. What choice? What choice? <laughs> oh no. What choice? To stand and fight? To run away? What's the choice? I will turn around before I say speak, just because it's the right story thing to do. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. Okay, good. March peacefully towards the camps to pressure the authorities as a demonstration, or launch an assault on the camps to liberate the androids' revolution. I'm gonna stick to the demonstration. I'm, I'm gonna stick to doing that. It's what he's been at all the time. And even though of the events that have happened against him, it's only been police forces and FBI that have come after him. And like the people, the support, they saw it on the television. If they're warming up to us. The demonstration might be what's needed to take it over the, over the fence. We're gonna go peacefully and the first playthrough, we're going peacefully. I know. I know you're all angry. And I know you want to fight back. But I assure you, violence is not the answer here. We are going to tell them peacefully that we want justice. And if there's any humanity in them, they will listen. And if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me? Okay. That's what we're going to do. Night of the Soul, Marcus. Marcus chose to protest for his people. Yes. Cross chapter impact. Worse. Um, we have Jericho was attacked in Crossroads. Yep. Mm -hmm. Marcus on sacred ground. Uh, there is a whole bunch of things that could have happened here. What? Uh, we could have started maybe with someone else we start with. I, I don't know. Like, I guess if Carl died uh, and broken, maybe he didn't die. If he didn't die and broken... He can live in that chapter? I have to do something to make him live in that chapter. <laughs> I thought that was a scripted thing. Uh, okay, so assuming he lived, then we would have started here and done some other things and then eventually got to here. I don't know. Uh, okay, I, I know it's a short chapter, but I said what I said and I meant what I said. One chapter per video. So uh, we're just going to launch multiple videos today and you're going to see multiple ones. So come on back for the next one. Check out the pinned comment below for a link if you're coming in a little bit late or right after the video we'll tell you what time it goes live take care we'll see ya bye